What's that silver tubular turbine thing on top of cruise ships? Sapphire Princess. Let's zoom in here. Yeah, it does look like it's meant for helping it take off into the sky. Useless architectural detail. Marine engineer here. I agree, it looks entirely decorative. Probably to try and dress up the actual functional smokestacks behind it. Ah, it's just stupid then. Anybody know what car this is off of? Need help figuring out who or what hit my car last night. What car? Well, we know it's a Ford, right? Other than that, can't help you, friend. Oh, here we go, this guy can. Ford Focus Hatchback RH Bumper Reflector. Check the link's last picture, and pardon, it's the LH, but you will see it's just reversed. Edit. So many asking how this was solved. Car guy here. OP narrowed this down quite a bit considering we know it's a Ford part. Reflectors are semi-standard on small cars, hatchbacks, and small SUVs nowadays. <laughs> Walked outside to my son's Ford Fiesta to check the shape. Close, but no cigar. On a hunch, I just started looking at the next model up, the Focus. Needless to say, mystery solved. Well, what do you know? We need more people like him in the world. Compartment and ceiling above fireplace with three large hooks and a hole suggesting a missing fourth. Hmm, I don't know about that. My grandma had this. She had hooks across the room to hook lines to and hang up wet laundry in the winter. She also used it to dry herbs and stuff. Check across the room for signs of other hooks. Oh, that's actually kind of neat. A sign of the times, if I've ever seen one. Small gold handheld container for matches? Ooh, it's really pretty. Needle case. Okay, that makes a little bit more sense, I'd say, though. We don't usually need to store matches in fancy containers. They come in boxes good enough on their own. Yellow slash orange plastic. Semi-circular object found in my co-worker's dog's stomach just removed during surgery. Approximately one by two inches long? Any ideas? This is the only photo I have. No other angles, unfortunately. That does look familiar, but I can't quite pinpoint it. When you buy a pre-roasted chicken from the grocery store, this little thing holds the legs tightly together. Oh, <laughs> so he got your Costco rotisserie chicken and went to town? Old concrete structure in the middle of the jungle in Oahu, Hawaii. Door is boarded up, and there's an antenna on top. There's an old radio tower on the top of a nearby mountain, about five miles from the location. So maybe it has something to do with that? Huh, let's see. I like the leaf printing. Almost like someone took some leaves, spray painted over them, and stenciled them to whatever this is. Look up Army Corps of Engineer FUDS maps and see if you're near one. USACE maintains a free public mapping product containing all former US defense sites that the military abandoned prior to the mid-1980s. The list is to keep track of cleanup and environmental restoration projects as funding becomes available, and there's a bunch of them on Oahu. It sounds kind of like you found an old radio communications bunker, which would be very low priority to clean up. If you're on a FUD site, it's worth checking out what the risk associated with that site is, and please be aware there are plenty of former military training grounds there where you might find live munitions. Do take care of yourself. Yeah, if you're gonna go wandering around, do your best to know where you are wandering. It clamps together like it's supposed to grab onto something, opens up to about a 45 degree angle, and has a level on a swivel. What is this thing? Um, that is a very excellent question. Hmm, let's see if Reddit figured this out. Apparently, it's to help cut your bangs, fringe, perfectly level. I wonder how you make sure it's on straight? That's what it's for? Man, your hair better be banging if you use this. Wand-like thing found in the woods. Oh, a wand-like thing? You mean a wand? Come on, think about it. It's part of a turkey call. Edit. Specifically, it is called a striker. Ah, a turkey call, how interesting. Found this small plastic thing in my car. Thought it could be a paper folding tool, but it doesn't look quite right. Any ideas? Um, well, I, I'm gonna be useless for most of these. That's why we have the Reddit detectives. Kind of looks like a razor handle. Just, it's absolutely not. Dash trim removal tool. Could have been left by a mechanic, window tint shop, etc. Also, identical to a tool that comes with new bicycle inner tubes that aids in installation. Way more boring than I thought. Although to be fair, most of this is gonna be. Found a rock on the porch of my new home. Flipped it over and saw this. Is that a fossil? I live in Southwest Pennsylvania and fossils are very common, but I'm not certain it is one. 
Looks almost like a chain link fence impression, but it's part of the rock. I mean, that kind of looks like a scale set. A scale set? It looks like scales. Kind of. Maybe a dragon. Yep, that's a fossil. Tree trunk impression. Oh, I was hoping it was gonna be a dragon. Oh, well, whatever. I commute to work, and the guy in front of me put this up. While this was up, he was watching something on his phone and had headphones on. At one moment, on the phone, in the suitcase, it seemed to turn on, displaying the Samsung Galaxy symbol. Nothing more happened. What in the world? Is this some kind of just a cell phone testing device where it just makes sense to have it in some goofy suitcase? It's a drive testing kit used by companies like Ofcom and Root Metrics in the UK to test the coverage claims of mobile network operators. Train lines are often hard to cover due to geo graphic landscaping. Yep, this is it. I used to work for a company doing something similar to this. Hmm, all right, okay. What are these ping pong ball looking things in this video of Canadian smoke jumpers at the wildfires in Quebec? Smoke jumpers? That's a term I like, that's fun. Also, yeah, they kind of look like little smoke bombs. You know, the ones that you light in the street on 4th of July? Delayed aerial ignition device. These are chemical balls that ignite materials on the ground for a controlled burn scenario. The goal is to eliminate the fuel that's feeding the wildfires. They never get paid enough. They really don't. What's this small wooden box outside this house? Pipes lead into wall and around the corner wall, located in the UK. Oh, that's, that's the forever box. If you're really bad, you go in there. Looks like a mains gas connection, usually made of polycarbonate, so may only look like wood unless there are wooden ones in use now. That'll be it. Thanks very much. Solved. We need like a big stamp effect, you know, solved. Okay, I know it's a chair, but what's with the extended arms? Uh, yeah, I'm at a loss on that one too. This is the type of thing I would buy and show off one time and then probably donate it again. Yeah, I'll, I'll lose the money on that just for the story. It looks like a plantation slash planter's chair. You'd put your sore, swollen legs up on the arms after sitting on a horse all day, like a pregnant woman with her legs up in the same fashion. This is why the back is sloped as well. If you sit straight up, it wouldn't be comfortable to put your legs up like that. But in a reclined position, it's good for blood flow and airflow. Ah, <laughs> it's the Gooch Cooler. Small metal box and bracket plugged in a 1960s era house. Has wires coming out of the bottom. Ooh. I just don't like how old it looks. Whenever I see outlets that have a design like that, I guess we would say Art Deco. Just feels like it's gonna blow up. That is a power transformer for providing power to older telephones to light up the dials. It was usually wired to the black and yellow wires of the four-wire telephone cord. Like I said, man, old stuff. I don't trust it. That thing looks like a fire hazard. Growing from the basement ceiling at a very rapid rate. It's also leaving on the table below it grayish particles. Hmm. Oh, is that a fungus? Ooh, that definitely feels like fungi. Ooh, that is, that does not feel good to me, man. Also, those masks on the wall are goddamn scary. You need to leave this place immediately. Those are studs from your walls, redistributed by your ter termites. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, that's not what you want to hear either. What's worse, a mushroom taking over your home or termites? Round metal object, 1.5 centimeters in diameter, one centimeter in height, glued to a metal sliding door to my retail shop in the middle of the night. Looks kind of like a little button battery almost. It definitely can't be, but it does look like one. Security patrol check-in point. Guards doing patrol have to tap in at these locations to prove they did their patrol. I had my business park security stick one to my aluminum office door frame without permission in the middle of the night like you. Interesting. I always wondered about that. Could you just not patrol? Well, I guess not. I found this ring in my backyard while doing gardening. After cleaning it, it doesn't look like a normal ring. Any ideas? Oh yeah, that looks incredibly fancy. I... is that IHP? Kinda looks like it. It's a Gregorian slash early Victorian morning ring. The initials belong to the lost loved one. Oh. These were typically made from gold, 18 karat plus, and enameled in black. Yours looks like it was made around 1820s through the 1840s. I know it wouldn't be worth much, but that's kind of neat though. You just found a real golden ring, more than likely. Little house with jail cell windows and a chimney in the middle of a river. Huh. You know, I have seen something like this before. Not in person though. I think it was, might even have been a video game or running around on Google Maps or something like that. Ah, overflow drain inlet. That makes sense. See, a lot of these are just going to end up making sense. And that's it. Clay hands and rods with holes and some string in them. Found buried in an old pot. Hmm. 
I don't like that one at all. It's common for gardeners to place broken pottery, old pots, at the bottom of their planters to promote drainage. This doesn't actually help plants. Maybe these were some homemade craft that was discarded and used as pot filler, since it looks like terracotta or some kind of unglazed stoneware. Metal star, about five inches in diameter, embedded in a small wood round, in a small wood round? Found in the Willamette National Forest of Oregon in a remote campsite. Ooh, it's just a cookie cutter, but for trees, what's the problem? <laughs> yeah, oh, okay, come on. Not a cookie cutter. They help keep wood posts and telephone poles from splitting. Oh, how does that help? I mean, look, I'm dumb. I'm allowed to ask questions. It is cool, though. I mean, look at that. You shove Patrick into a telephone pole and it helps it from splitting. House on my running route partially sunken into the ground. What the hell? Are they okay? They're not stuck in there, are they? Just a guess, but maybe built during the 70s energy crisis. A home near where I grew up was built with a berm around it, and most of it to save on heating and cooling. Does it help? Does it really make any difference at all? I mean, I know that like when you go into a basement, it's generally the coolest place in the house. You know, the cold air likes to sink and finds the bottom. I get it. But does how much does this help? I am super curious. Weird fish found in garden after storm. All right, how weird are we talking? Oh my god, that is a lot weirder than I was expecting. It's so vibrant. It's like you pulled some kind of weird vegetable from the ground that's angry. This is a short-spined sea scorpion. So horrifying. Yeah, okay, that's fantastic. Carved tusks seem to be ivory. Not much else going on besides the pictures. Or to go on, excuse me, I can't read. That is neat. Uh, I don't like it, though. Hello. These are definitely instruments. Both are the top parts of stringed harps, such as Mangbetu harp. I know I didn't say that correctly. The holes are where the pegs go. You can see that the bottom looks broken or unfinished because it's missing the large bottom resonation piece that was covered in some sort of animal skin, snake skin, antelope skin, or other. Most of these instruments have five to eight to 10 holes where the pegs go and where the strings attach and run down to the base of the resonating body. Oh, now I wish they were complete. That'd be really cool to see. Black plastic rivets found in a shed. They look like they belong to a modeling kit. They're either plugs or spigots for irrigation drip lines. Edit. Can't see the ends, so if they don't have a hole, they're for plugging the end of a small drip line. Example. Solved. No holes, so they're plugs. Thank you. Can anyone identify these shoes? It would help me catch my bike thief. I heard Reddit can do some magic. Ooh, okay, I wouldn't be able to do this. Let's see. Let's see if the detectives got it right. Looks like the sole of a Nike Air Relentless 6 trainer. I own a pair myself. Ho 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 ho! Oh, Reddit, you've done it again. Hey, look at them. They're not that bad. Quite stylish. I've been needing a new pair of trainers. Hmm, how do these people do this? Found while clearing yard. Weighs about six pounds. Area has World War II history. Should I call EOD? Mm -hmm. EOD here. That's definitely UXO. Everyone had the right answer. Call emergency services. Furthermore, when you... When you people find stuff that looks suspect, just call it in. We're bored. <laughs> I don't like his flair. Strange building in the middle of nowhere in England. Has two antennas on one side, and then two, possibly three, looks like there might be a third one on the opposite side of the road. Large black circular structure on the walls. The, the, the latitude and longitude? Good God, those are so specific. Let's see. <clears throat> yes, the latitude and longitude are 54.242748258767877 uh, by negative 1.73379115459536. That is a really creepy looking building, though. It's an abandoned microwave relay station. A what? Can I cook my Hot Pockets there? Strange tower made out of storage containers on a construction site. Has doors in the middle and also a roof hatch. The inside is lighted with lamps. Damn, they really did just straight up create a tower out of them, didn't they? Hey, I work for the company that has this installed right now. This is a vertical take-up unit for the conveyor belts that run in the tunnel. As the tunnel boring machine mines, the belt that removes the mined material has to get longer. The tower stores the belt, and once it's all used up, we add another spool and splice it together. Seven inches heavy for its size, metallic, no identifying marks on it or the case, solid, just metal, it's very smooth. Huh. Look up muscle scraper. This looks very similar to a tool my PT uses. It looks like a Graston tool used in physical therapy to break up muscle knots. Source, I've had these used on me many times. 
also available on Amazon. I don't like the term muscle scraper, please don't say that again. Small trailer with individual openings, seen while driving. No obvious marking that would indicate what it's for. Huh, that is suspect. I think it's for transporting racing pigeons. No way! What are these weird spoons supposed to be used for? Um, the fancy guests. Left is a vintage jelly spoon. The right, I think, is just a fancy mixing spoon for drinks, but I could be wrong with that one. A jelly spoon? Man! These tiny wooden steps randomly appeared by the curbs in a residential neighborhood in the Pacific Northwest, mostly near drains. Any ideas? Huh, is it for, I don't know, maybe an animal that needs to be able to escape the flow of the water? I don't know. Pretty sure you guessed correctly. Little steps for wee creatures to get over the curbs. Yeah, I kind of figured it was that. Maybe not in an emergent situation like I was thinking, but still. Contraption found on a hiking trail in Utah made of several flat and round pieces of metal, held together by screws with a thicker hollow part running parallel to the longest metal strip. I wouldn't even care what that is. Looks like a wagon brake. Ah, how interesting. I found this blue disc in a packet of sour cream crisps. It has the words Ferris 25mm BST cert number blah 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 on it. Hmm, some sort of testing puck, right? Yeah, a testing chip. It goes through the metal detectors to ensure they're working. There's a problem here, though. You send X number of testers, you get X number back. If you get X-1 or some other number, you stop the line until you find your chip. The entire purpose of the test is to make sure that stuff like this, which is supposed to simulate a foreign object, doesn't get through. There's usually paperwork to document this. Write to the outfit and tell them what you found, and rest assured there'll be a crap storm on the other end, and maybe infinite free chips. Structure at the rental house. It has two posts that have three holes connected with a thin opening. It has a tin roof. Located in the backyard, on a rock bed, there is a gate nearby. Doesn't seem all that weird. Looks like a barn swallow manor. The holes on the side are just to make the structure look nicer. What's a barn swallow manor? Those words together make no sense to me. It's a multiple birdhouse specifically for barn swallows. Ah, I could have figured that out. What are these hard flecks appearing in my bedding from time to time? Yeah, it's grody, dude. Looks like melted plastic or melted fibers from being overheated in the dryer. Try checking your loads in between taking from washer and putting in the dryer. I suspect it's fabric piling and loose elastic melting into hard plastic. Maybe try a lower heat setting. I like this theory very much. It makes complete sense. Given the setting and the fact that I almost burn my hands when getting stuff out of the dryer I use, now I can say this. It does look like flex are ingrained in the gray duvet in the pictures. Yeah, I've accidentally melted a hole in my blanket before. I don't like that I can say that. I don't like that my blanket's made of goddamn plastic, but what are you gonna do? I found this thing in my food. It was just stuck to a piece of meat. It wasn't lodged into it or anything. Anyone know what it is? Uh, meat tracker. Whatever you ate, you can assume did not come from premium parts of the animal. What type of meat was it found in? I don't like it. <laughs>